Hello, hello. This is Tokyo Blue, and you've come to Game Station Tokyo. Uh, tomorrow's the big turkey day. I just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. On that note, I'd just also like to share with you what I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for the home that I have. I'm grateful for uh, the ability to be able to have three meals a day. I'm very grateful for... Um, a warm bed, a place to sleep. Uh, I'm grateful for having a loving family. I love my father. I love my mother. And I want to just say that I appreciate all the simple things that I have because I know there are a lot of people who have a lot less. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, you know, I, I think Thanksgiving is a time to give thanks. And I just, you know, th during the year as life goes on, it's easy to take these small things for granted. And um, so I, I just want to remind myself that there are people who have less. And I'm just grateful for the things that I do have. So I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving. Okay, Joseph, let's get this party started. Still haven't found the bat cave yet. Uh, all right. Come on out. Uh, it was kind of strange. Sometimes, um, last episode, I was running away from, like, these two giant guys. Didn't know whether I should run from them and just make my way through the cemetery, like Joseph suggested. Or kill them. I Evidently, I had to, to kill them. And then there was another little hang-up in epi that last episode as well. I had to, I thought it was a puzzle. You know, you get the tables three, five, seven, and 9... We had to like figure out some mystery or something, move things around. As simple as running through the spiked uh, hallway. All right. Uh, yeah, sure, Joseph. Are you on my side or their side? Still, there's some shells over there. I see it glowing. Uh, looks like that's some sort of big boiling tank. Are they boiling these people? Uh, wow, it's a huge spine. Look at that. See where we are. Let's get these little treats. Uh, is that thing gonna come busting out? It's got no legs, so grab what's important. Shells. Thank you. There's a glowing folder over there and something else. Syringes. Let's get some syringes. Oh. You know what? I just saw what looks like to be oh. a diagram of animals. I hope I'm not going to get any zombie dogs or anything. You see it over there? You get like zombie wolves or something going to be coming at me now. That's just fantastic. All right, let's read this this diary here. This this note. Cemetery lab note number one. It had to have been God's will that these two twin orphans survived. They were baptized and given medicine. Yoon and his brother Zen quickly recovered, but just as quickly did their aberrations progress. I wonder if you're talking about uh, Leslie and uh, Ruvik. Of course... They are twins, but for some reason, their growth patterns exhibit identical values. Twelve hours after serum administered, noon, 122.4 centimeters, 28.2 kilograms. Zen, if I'm pronouncing their names correctly, 122.4 centimeters, 28.2 kilograms. Body temperature elevation, pain in lower extremities, evident. 24 hours after serum administered, noon, 
noon, new, new, noon. All right, 125.8 centimeters, 29.4 kilograms. All right, we know that they're identical. Vital signs stabilized, sleeping in short intervals. 36 hours after serum administered, uh, they've gotten even bigger, okay? Semi-conscious, speaking to imaginary person. 48 hours after serum administered, 145.7 centimeters. Agitated, administered sedative. Let me, I just want to check something. Were these, had it been God's will that these two twin orphans survived? They were baptized, given medicine. Did they come in as babies? Oh, look, I get to look at a map. Oh, I get to look at a diagram of them. Oh, those were those two giants that we ran into back there. That's what they are. I killed them both. Any weak points? What's he doing an autopsy now for? Alright. Come on, Joseph. Yeah, I hear some growling. Lots of growling. I wonder if they're those animals, the dogs. There we go. Look toward the light. That's always where trouble is. Oh, look at those chains. Something's chained down. You know they're going to come busting loose. Joseph, I can't see what's down there. Uh, no explosive bolts either. Darn it. Oh, it's sleeping, whatever it is. Let's go take a look, see. Hello, little doggy. Hello. I really want to see. A, is that a crooked head? I guess so. I think the only way to go is get down, Joseph. Please. I know you got a headache and everything. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Stop looking so upset. Can't go through there. Let's take a peek, though. Hey, there's a dead guy over here. Cemetery Lab Note 2. Okay. Every month, offerings are brought above ground to the stone sar sarcophagus. The owner calls the altar. Two bodies, four bodies, three bodies, five bodies, four bodies, seven bodies, six bodies. The church guard dog has begun to change. Just like the twins. Oh no, the aberration is progressing. He's going to start growing. I'm going to have to fight a giant dog. Uh, <gasps> they're feeding it dead bodies. It devoured six bodies today and already it howls for more. It has begun to stress its bars and chains in its fervor. fervor. I don't dare take my eyes away from that animal. It may think I'm another offering. You didn't make it too far, did you? So, like in the last scene episode, there's a crack in the wall. I guess I must be able to run past there, around the dog and into that area. I guess that's supposed to just give me hope. So, let's see. Here we go. I'll bet you Joseph's still standing up. Is that right? Yep. Thanks a lot, Joseph. There's some green brain juice over there to the left. You see it? It's over there. I'm going to go for it. Take a look at this thing. Joseph, please tell me you're... you're oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice to know who's on my side. Is there anything in there? Mm, doesn't look like anything's in there. All right. I can't go... Can I go around that way? Yeah. Must be that rigor mortis, huh, Joseph? Can't crouch. 
Things are gonna bust loose as I get near that doorway. Bet you that's like a game threshold or something. It looks blindfolded. Oh, it's got two heads. It looks like it's got teeth on its neck or something. All right, here we go. I'm wondering if I should go around the other side, if there's any. That's where I gotta go. Uh, curiosity is getting the better of me, though. Anything? Nothing? All right, stop walking around, Joseph. For God's sakes, get down. Here we go. Come on, let's get out of here, quick. Please tell me you're crouching. Uh, figures. More than likely, they're going to let the dogs out. Maybe not now. Maybe as I clear this tunnel or something. Alright, so it looks like there's a pressure plate over there. Some sort of door that I gotta run through like the last one. Watch this thing kill me. Joseph, you wanna step on that for me? Yes, we made it. Woohoo! Oh, he's gonna come busting out through there. Oh no. Turn around. Get out. Can you get it open? I'm talking to you, Joseph. Can you get it open? I knew it. Oh no. Uh, run. Run. Joseph. Hmm. Told you it had like teeth on his neck. Yikes. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Where'd it go? Ouch! Uh, run! Get up there! Get up there! Nope! Where is it? Yikes! Gotta hit, come on! Come on, come on. Come over here, big boy. Come on, get shocked. Something, walk into it. Were you blind? Is that it? You can't see me, can you? over here. Come on over. Oh man. Where are you? We need to the stairs. Come on. Darn it. Sideswipe me. Didn't register. Hold on. What do I got? A med kit? Give me the syringe. Run! <laughs> Yikes. Go through the bushes. Give me something. Nothing? Darn it. Where are you? There you are. Run. Oh man. I can't see anything. Eat these. Darn you. Where is it? Yeah. 
Darn you, darn you! Run, Sebastian! Oh no! No! Just run, for God's sakes! Come on, run! Run! <laughs> Where are you? Darn it! Darn you. Come on, get it up there. Let's go. Oh, I made it. <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> You're so heavy for a dead man. <laughs> oh, man, that was weird. Those bushes really gave me a problem. Come on, back away from the fence, will you? What is it? Your glasses. I dropped my glasses back yeah. there. Yeah, well, that's why you should have went to contact. You're not gonna... What? You're not gonna make me go in and get it? You're kidding me. Is that the goal here? I don't think so. That can't be it. I gotta go in and get him? Let's see. <gasps> Holy cow! Where are the glasses? What do I got? This is ridiculous. Just because a guy didn't wear contact lenses, I gotta go in and get them now? Nothing. Yes, grenade, yeah. Okay. Mmm. Going with the grenades. Uh, what else do I have? Let's go with this. No, sorry. Okay, I'm ready, I guess. Classes. Come on, squeeze through. I better be able to get back in. Can I get back in? I can't, I'm stuck! God darn it, where are those glasses? Yikes. Come on, blow. I'll draw it away so you can search. Please do. Oh, there they are. Come here, you glowing glasses. Joseph glasses. Joseph was has worn the same pair for as long as Sebastian has known him. Oh, how sentimental. Into the woods. Go this way. Come on, you can do it. Ow! Come on! Get to the opening! Get up, Sebastian! Move! Come on! Yes! Go, go, go! Take your time while you're doing it! I'm sorry. It's not just about being unable to see. Yes, I know. It's the sentimental value. Feeling normal. It's alright. Let's focus on finding Kidman. Yeah, you'll need those glasses to look at her figure. Where are you? I still want to finish you off. <sighs> Alright. Let's have a look -see. Anything around? Right here. Old fashioned cart. Oop! Yes. Thank you. Potatoes. Can I get up here? No. I 
There's got to be some resources Jesus around. I had Joseph, all that for a pair of glasses. Yeah, it's not like I gave them to you. What do I got? Bullets. Uh, close to nothing here. Uh, some things. All right. Um. Nothing on a shotgun. Okay. We'll go with the handgun since I did upgrade it. Come on, tell me if you see anything. Apples, any bananas, fruits. I could use it. Here's that weird symbol again. Here's the door. Is it going anywhere? No? No picnic tables? Nothing? <gasps> yes! Hello, hello. Yummy. I could have sworn I had more, though. Uh, storm clouds are brewing, Joseph. Some bad things are coming. What's the matter? We should head for the church. Yeah, I told you. Some bad things are coming. I didn't even get to open that door. Cutscene. Hello. Okay, so we're in chapter seven. I guess it was called the keeper. Um, walk over here. Anything? More brain juice? Big open area. Cough that stuff out, Joseph. Go ahead. You don't need it in your body. Nothing over here. Ooh, what's this? Matches. Okay. That sounded close. Yeah. Get you, get you. Uh oh. He's talking again. He's seeing the future. Something's gonna get us now. Where are they? Where's the voice? It's coming from down below. How come Joseph is breathing so hard too? It's labored. He's changing. Yeah, have a seat. I'm gonna look for hey, some Advil. Joseph, you still with me? Here we are. We're gathered here today for this map fragment. Number 13. Looks like the water. All right. Uh, anything else to be found? Back here? Nothing? Nothing. All right. Guess that's it. Let's, uh, let's move onward and forward, huh, Joseph? Oh, wait, no. Shells. Whoop, not what I wanted. Not this. A double barrel shotgun? Oh, beautiful. That was part of the, uh, the s packet that I downloaded. I didn't know it automatically went doubled. I, I guess I was thinking I had to find it. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know Joseph's suffering over there. Um, is it full? <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh no, I gotta crack it open in order to load? Uh, yuck. Okay. It'll do. Anything else? Did I miss anything? What's going on, buddy? You okay, buddy? Sebastian. You ever had the urge to just jump? When you're on a high place, <coughs> or the hang subway rolls by, just hang in there. Imagine if you had that urge for a minute straight, then two minutes. You fought it off three times now, Joseph. You're learning to stop it. You're not listening. I'm not worried about stopping it, Seb. 
I want to be it. Don't I'm think that way. About not wanting to stop it. Should I knock you unconscious? Some part of me wants to turn. Like the Hulk? I don't know why. And I can't reason it away. You like becoming it's a serial bad. killer? Look at my hair, how wavy it is. It's like it's I'm in like underwater. Instinct. And it's getting stronger. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, stab him with it. There you go. You, you should have done that a while ago. Rubik, where's your cube? Don't touch me. Something Indiana Jones would have to deal with. Shotgun. Chapter 7. The Keeper. Uh, am I all alone now? No one to talk to? No one to have to worry about standing up while I'm ducking? Alright. It's not one of those trick floors. Do I have to like walk on special tiles or something so I don't fall through? Completely dark. What's over there in that darkness? I want to turn my lantern on, but it's probably just a wall. Checkpoint! Get you. Get you. Get you. Get you. I'd better start searching for my partners. Yeah. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. That was a really weird dog. Uh, I mean, I am a dog fan, but that dog was just too weird for me. Okay, so please join me again in episode 25. Uh, that's the Evil Within, episode 25 coming up. Thank you for joining me today. You guys have a happy holiday, okay? Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>